Hi there, welcome back. Uh, okay. So in the previous video, we we talked about the pool model. Um, we got the first test passing, which is good. So we can uh, evaluate a single node that's working. That's good. So let me. Yeah. And actually, you can see the difference on the models because in the pool model we can solve this little graph which is just one node uh, with only one evaluation while the push model needs two right one per input so that's a little bit of a taste of what's coming so yeah and, and we have like a test suite for with all the tests so we're kind of sharing the test uh, but we have all this stuff committed out because it's not passing at the moment. So we are going to do that. We are going to optimize this a little bit, a little bit of cleanup, and try the connections. That would be the next. So let's get started. Uh, the first, the first thing. Well, I noticed that this no, this variable is node, and the no, the name is node one. That's kind of ugly. So I'm going to replace all this stuff by node one. Oh, so node one. Next, 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 next. Cool. I think that's more consistent. Now let me run this. Oh, it's good. Cool. The next thing is I want to be sure that when we ask for a result twice or three times, we are not re-evaluating the node all uh, like ever, over and over and over again. So let's try that. Yeah, let's try that. So def, um, we want to test the evaluation count, let's say. So I want to get the graph from the first test. So that was self that test single node evaluation. I want to get node one from this. So graph dot get node, and this should be node one. Then I want to get the output of this again. So that should do should be node one dot get output port. And the port was result dot value. I'm not doing anything with the value. Just want to call it one more time, and then I want to test. Uh, there should be a third equal or oh, equal that the node one dot eval count like the counter. It's equal to one. So we're only evaluating one time. Let me save this, run the test, and of course we have an error. Eval count is not an attribute, so let's implement that. Uh, let's go to void node self dot count would be equal to zero the first time when we initiate initially well when we create the node, <laughs> and then when we evaluate it. We basically increase that uh, eval count. We increase it by one. So that should do it. So if we run this, we fail the test. We are evaluating two times, and you can see that here. And and the, the tricky thing is the values are the same. So this is not efficient. This is a problem. So let's fix that. Uh, so if you take a look in the push model, when we set a new value, a new input value, we trigger the valuation, right? Uh, in this model, we are doing nothing there. We are only getting or triggering the valuation when we get the value. So looks like there's a disconnection. Uh, so let's try to fix that 
so it looks like when we set an input we need to somehow tell that the node needs an evaluation not evaluate the node right away but just say hey next time evaluate this right so we're going to do just that uh, so if the model is pool instead of evaluate uh, we are going to set a boolean in the node saying hey this node is dirty it needs evaluation right so before going crazy let me add this here uh, when we create a node it should be dirty right it needs to be evaluated at least one so when we set a value we set it dirty and when we get a value a result here we need to if so of that owner that is dirty if it's dirty well evaluate and and clear right so self dot owner again dot is dirty should be equal to false now because we already clean it up and that's pretty much it let's try this now cool we have only one evaluation everything's passing that's awesome so next thing would be take a look at the connections so let me so let's uncomment this one let's go one by one okay and here looks like we have a problem uh, so we're getting the graph from the first test but this test uh, is actually getting the output port right it's asserting so that will trigger an evaluation so instead of doing that we are going to get this without the assert and copy paste so we already have graph we already have node one and that's it so this looks like more compatible with push and pull so let's run this and so good awesome so we have connections let's test the persistent connection just this one. Oh, sorry yeah so looks like we have exactly the same issue here oh by the way this abstraction is kind of weird should be isolation okay so moving on <laughs> let's do exactly the same thing get the graph off node one we already have one we set the value to 10 here we check that node one is evaluated with the right but we don't need that anymore we get we already have node two that's that's the test that we need so we create the graph we add a node we change the value one on the first node and we see if that if that works so let's try this and we have a fail in the pull model case not in the push the push is still fine so that's good so looks like our connections are not persistent in a pull model case so we're going to fix that in the next video i just wanted to clean this up a little bit before moving on so yeah let's save this so git commit Oh, and this is pool model, and what we did was uh, test simple simple connections are working fine. Well, it's 
simple connections yeah why not <laughs> cool so that's pretty much it in the next video we are going to fix this um and yeah see you in the next one bye bye